kids, it's dad. It is a beautiful day. We had an amazing, amazing uh, weekend. A lot of family shenanigans going on. Holy cow. Had an amazing phone call this morning with a uh, old time acquaintance who's now become, I think, a significant dear friend. Um, uh, that's a story in its own. Uh, she had some a loss in her family. We uh, and Sunday was the anniversary of this loss. And as we're talking this morning, and as I'm digging into, you know, how was your day? You know, you don't know uh, what to say. You know, there's there's plenty of Hallmark cards. Sorry, you lost your husband. But how do you really deal with it, and how do you frame it in the whole nine yards? And and you don't, you 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 don't, you 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 don't know what to say. It's all just kind of hooey. You, you you know you can say I've been there, but you know I don't know what it's like to have lost a spouse, so I can't even fake it. Um, I've lost some friends, but I never lost a best friend. I've never lost a sibling. I don't I don't know anything. I, my circle of reference here is poor. So I'm chatting with her and. You know, listening to to her and understanding, and she said something that was really powerful. She says, "You know, you don't deal with it; you just learn how to." And I had to write it down. You have to learn how to breathe better. You know, that was really powerful, and I had to stop her for a second. I said, "Breathe better." Wow, do you know what you said? And and you think about it, and it's you know, it's still a gut punch. It's still you know, losing your husband to this day still takes the wind out of your sails but you know how to breathe through it you know how to you know breathing exercises kind of like Lamaze class kind of funny I was all I was taking birthing classes with my first wife and then we we're getting ready to to do the breathing exercise portion of it and then Madeline came so we didn't do the breathing exercise we missed the whole part of the class we missed the c-section part of the class go figure I just figure out how to breathe better that's really powerful and when we think about in times of adversity, you know, have you lost your job? Did you lose a loved one? Did you get in a car accident? How do you deal with it? You just breathe better. You, you know, the, when I think about my, my car, you know, I had a, an engine. I had to, I blew out the engine. Um, timing belt went out on the thing. Kung. I put a new engine into it. Cost me, you know, almost 4,000 bucks, 3,500 bucks, new engine. But you know what? Now, everything else is tiny. I just breathe through it. I know how to breathe better. I know how to deal with it. You know, now that this has happened to, to Kelly, everything else is small peanuts, small potatoes. Um, and, you know, on the anniversary of, of, of this uh, milestone, she just breathes better. She knows how to um, celebrate the successes and celebrate the life instead of focusing on other things and, and, and focusing on that loss. And that's a, I love it. Just breathe better. So thankful for Kelly and, and for her strength and, and for bringing that up. That's really neat. Kids, we need to learn how to breathe better. Uh, I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. And I love you, Drew. Let's breathe better and let's, let's be better people. I'll talk to you guys later. You guys rock. Bye.